Give each player cards and a pawn. Again, very topical. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep doing that. <laughs> Take the epidemic cards out of the player deck and set them aside until step five. Shuffle the other player cards, city and event cards, field cards to players to form their. Oh, I've got to set up touch my phone, didn't I? Mm. Shuffle the roll cards and deal one face up in front of each player. Okay. So, the way this game works for for those who have, who have not seen it or or played it before, we are attempting to save the world. Boo! Right now, four <laughs> pandemics are breaking out across the planet. Oh and God, it is they difficult. are they are killing mass numbers of people, and we have to Yay. save. Yay! Oh. Shush, let, me, let me finish. <laughs> Save, save the heckling for a bit. Okay. Um, there are a number of failure conditions in this. Hmm. And a number of things that make the infection even worse as time goes on. The the uh, main thing, I believe, there the, the two big failure conditions, I believe. I'll double check the rulebook here in a second. But uh, if any one of these disease bags is empty... And we cannot place another another disease cube when we need to. Game over. Hmm. If the outbreak uh, marker reaches the skull, it's game over. Uh, an outbreak occurs when there are three diseases of the same color on a place, and you have to place a fourth disease cube. At that point, mm. you don't place the fourth one, and instead you place a disease cube in each of the uh, adjacent cities. <coughs> oh, it's a bit like that game with the corruption crystals. Yes. Yeah, the corruption. It's, it is yeah. exactly like Defenders of the Realm, for anybody mm. who has played that. Uh, so that is what an outbreak is. So after eight of those, it's game over. Um, things that will make the game harder are the epidemic cards. Because at the end of each person's turn, you draw two infection cards. And you place a disease cube on each of the cities that you draw. Epidemics increase the number of cards that you draw. I and see. Epidemics will be somewhere randomly in the player deck once we get started. Uh, now, each of us will have a super special secret roll that is only secret until we actually pass them out. And each one has special abilities and things like that. I'm also going to pass out these rule cards for, for everybody. Uh, these, front and back, tell you what you can do with one action. And you've got four actions in a turn. Hmm. You will find the the card right there and in front of each, each person. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Is the four cure markers vial side up? Aha! Okay, I see. So that's showing... Ah, okay. That we have Clever. not cured it yet. Yeah. Let's see. Shuffle the roll cards and deal one face up to each player. Alright, so. Torp! You are the dispatcher. You, ah, your ah. special ability is you can move us around the board. Way. <laughs> way more useful than it sounds like. Yeah, mm. Way more useful than it sounds like because one of your special abilities is as an action you can move any of us to a city with another one of us. In it. Ah. Which we can't just do. It's only held back by the fact that I need to get your permission before moving it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only uh, bouncing factor. Stevie, you are the operations expert. As an action, you get to build a research station in a in the city you are in without a card. Seems so oh. ordinarily That seems need, really good. Yeah, ordinarily we we need to have the card of the city that we were that we are in in order to Yeah, seems over here now. Okay. Oh, don't I, worry. I'll, I'll move it to myself <laughs> wherever I please, end up. Please, everybody, please let me. Thank you. Uh, so, 
uh, the research stations we specifically use to cure diseases. So that's the importance of that. And then once per turn as an action, move from a research station to any city by discarding any city card. So you discard oh, yeah. a card to go anywhere you want if you start at a research station. Archaeologist! Mm -hmm. You're the contingency planner. Oh, of course I am. <laughs> as an action, take any discarded event card and store it on this card. When you play the stored event card, remove it from the game. Limit one event card on this card at a time. And it's not a part of your hand. Hmm. And I am the researcher. I may give any one of my city cards when I share knowledge. It does not need to match my city. A player who shares knowledge with me on their turn can take any one of my city cards. So there's rules for how we can trade Ooh. cards. And essentially, I can ignore those rules. That, that's actually quite fitting for you, Kanuda, being the researcher. Yeah. The orc researcher. I, I <laughs> am the orc in the lab coat. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so now let's see. Uh, and of course, we then take the colored pawns and we put them in Atlanta because home of the CDC. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Operations expert, dispatcher, and contingency planner. All right, so we are all in Atlanta. We're all Americans. Yes, even you, archaeologist. No! <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be American now? I'm craving cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. You're already <laughs> Shuffle the player cards, deal cards to the players to form their initial hands. Give cards according to the number of players. I love that. Yeah, yep. same. Yep. Play a little round <laughs> in, order to, uh, in order to deal it, or in order to shuffle the deck. Okay. <coughs> Each person will get two cards. You already have a couple of events out, so that's that's good. Hmm. Events do not need to be played immediately, I think. I think you hold on to them, and then you can play them as an action. Uh, let's see. Place infection rate marker and infect nine cities. Okay. Flip over three. All right, so starting off with the worst of the infections. Ooh. All right. Uh, if people will help me out with this, uh, three black tokens to Istanbul, three blue tokens to Chicago, and three yellow tokens to Lagos. Oh, this is simple. Uh, Lagos. Uh, what was the second one? Uh, oh, I got Chicago. it. I got, I got Chicago. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, game, I guess. <laughs> They're not okay. now they're sometimes doing it. they'll go into piles and sometimes mm. they won't. Now we flip over three more cards and these are the medium infections. <laughs> I like what Geek okay. just said there. So TJ, you now have terrible health care cover by being American. <laughs> yep. yep. Uh, all right, so two to Miami, thank you, Stevie. Uh, two reds to Ho Chi Minh and two blues to Washington. Uh, that one did. Yeah, make make sure your hand is like over the top of the, the bag. Hmm. Okay. I should get some some music going for this. Uh give me a moment and I will get us some uh That that is I want like a bunch of stuff. Let me see. Share screen. All right. If anybody uh, wishes for some ambient music, you feel free to uh, to uh, watch my my little uh, thing on Discord. That's perfect. Do do we have? Um, is it too late for Oda to join us? Uh, nope. Ota, it, awesome. Ota can join us.
Oh, there we go. That's better. I'll pull all you. I had your stream muted for some reason. There we go. That's better. Otter! Hug! <laughs> Hugu! If, if you wish for hugs, hello. Uh, let me send you the invite. You were actually just in time. We're, we're just going over some of the starting rules. Yep, yep. Uh, don't worry, Otter, don't worry. Yeah, I mean, we're only just starting, you know, so we're not even, not even really started yet. Just doing the setup. So, so, uh, for, for the people in the call, for those who have not met Ota, uh, Stevie, an archaeologist, this is Otamatun. Ota is adorable, despite the fact that Ota will say that he is not Ota I know. Is adorable. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, I joined in that whole bit of, uh, oh, that's what a cutie would say. <laughs> All right, but you are Ota. You are adorable. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's see. So I will get uh, a roll for Ota and two cards for Ota. Okay. Let's see for the final three cities: Algiers, Mumbai, and Manila. Each get oh, one. Yeah. Oops. Uh, here and I got and I got Manila. Okay. okay, and that will start us off. So, Otai, I went ahead and sent you uh, an invite on your Steam. Uh, just let me know if I need to resend it. Well, thank you, Sith. Or was that directed at uh, Ota? So, some of my chat was just saying you are adorable. <laughs> Everybody look under your chair! <laughs> uh, the players look at the city cards they have in their hand. The player with the highest city population goes first, and then we prepare the player deck. So, the, the first question before we, before we do that is how difficult do we want to make this game? The way we set that difficulty is how many epidemic cards are we putting into the player deck? Do we put four, five, or six? Five. Five? Yeah, I think five. Go for the middle okay. option. Then take that one away. Ah! ah! Every time. Insane shuffling! <laughs> Alright, so, uh, every time an epidemic comes up, we move the infection rate marker of here forward one space. We draw the bottom card from the infection deck and put three cubes on that city. Then we shuffle all the cards in the infection discard pile and put them back on top of the deck. Ooh. <laughs> so on top? Every on top. So everywhere that's already been infected can get reinfected. Great. Oh this really is like real life. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright. So Ota is in, so Ota you pick a color and then I will I will give you your roll and starting cards. But yeah, that is that is how the epidemics will fuck with this game and make it harder is they not only make us draw more cards as time goes on, they also reinfect places that have already been infected. Hmm. Oh, the pawns are like assigned to jobs, not colors. Yes, they are yeah, yeah. Jobs. All right, so Ota, here is your role. You are the scientist. You need only four cards of the same color to discover a cure for a disease. There, there's no hand, you just keep it all out in front of you. Yeah. There you go. It's S to, uh, to <laughs> Sounds a lot like Plague Inc. Yeah, exactly, so that's... A bit, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I forget which one actually came first, but I, I believe one was inspired by the by the other. I, I don't remember. Possibly Pandemic, because it's the board game, but I could be wrong. Okay. Plague Inc. So has been around for a while. So let's see, of my two city cards, the one with the highest population is Turkey with 13 and a half million people. Mine is Seal with 22 and a half. And okay. 47,000. Or 5,000. 
540. Yeah, just we just round it down. Just two twenty two and a half million. Mm. Okay. That beats uh, me because that's about twenty one million. Okay. Lovely. Of course, of course, uh, Stevie with tiny little London. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oi. Only eight Oi. Yeah. <laughs> Only eight million people in it. How dare you? Okay. <laughs> so I believe that means Stop Torp out. goes first. Uh, now, in a single turn, there are four actions. It, it's it's divided into three parts. You do four different actions. After mm -hmm. that, you draw two player cards, and then we draw infection cards, and then it goes to the next person's turn. Uh, and as it as it says here, players should freely give each other advice. Let everyone offer opinions and ideas. However, the player whose turn it is decides what to do. Hmm. Uh, your hand can have city and event cards in it. City cards are used in some actions, and event cards can be played at any time. And then, uh, yeah, there are eight different total actions. Uh, Ota, if you let's know what you can do in a turn this card will tell you and you can flip it over to see all the different actions so, Torp. uh let's see I... scientist over to 